weighing in, we're looking at the 220 pound weight class and we have talked uh, all preview long about finals we're really looking forward to. Brian Dobzanski of Delsey, Zach Chaconis of Don Bosco Prep met in the 220 pound finals last year. Dobzanski won 5-4. James, Brian's got to be the favorite again this year. Oh, most definitely. I mean, he's been on a tremendous role. You know, Brian, uh, such an athletic kid, you know, baseball standout, probably going to be drafted this June in a major league player, his first year draft, you know, headed a little bit on a baseball scholarship, but, you know, trying to wrap up his wrestling career and style, I mean, de uh, definite favorite here. Yeah, Joe Chaconis, only a junior. He's likely going to get a shot again in the finals this year. Do you think he can pull it out? Uh, I think Dobzanski might be a few points better than Chaconis, but what I like about Chaconis and what I think makes him so dangerous is that he's a pinner. You saw it when he wrestled Christian Jenko in the regions. You've seen it a couple times where you know a wrestler will relax and he'll come over the top with a cradle and pin you. So even you know if 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 Chaconis could get a three point and almost pin him, get a turn, I think that could change the whole match. Yeah, James, let's look down at that bracket where Chaconis is. It looks like it shapes out to be a pretty pretty awesome semifinal matchup for him. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, look at Mike Markler from Hopewell Valley, undefeated Region 5 champion, uh, committed to Princeton. He's just been on a tear of late. You know, he was in the state tournament last year. He's back. Uh, I think he's really a dangerous guy. that Maybe flies under the radar and could do some damage. Joe, if we're talking semifinals, if we look at the top bracket, Dobzanski could meet Janko of Bergen Catholic. Yeah, Jenko is a guy who's been very active on the freestyle circuit. He was a Pan Am gold medalist in freestyle and Greco over the summer, and he's been very impressive. He's been almost a career upperweight, and this is his year to finally make his mark. So I have him making it to the semis against Obzanski. All right, guys, we've talked about uh, some of the favorites in this weight class. Now is the time for the sleepers, the dark horses. James, let's start with you. Who is one sleeper who you think could shake things up? You know, I looked down at the bottom half of the bracket to the Region 1 champion, Jesse Wynn from West Mars. Uh, he's had a tremendous season, first two-time county champion in school history. Uh, he's a guy who I think could really make some damage down there. Joe, same thing. Give me a sleeper, somebody who could shake things up. I think Brick Memorial's Tyler Poling just has an excellent attitude. You know, any, anytime I speak with him, he says all the right things. He is approaching his game in the right kind of way. He's not getting in his head. He knows he has a tough road ahead of him, and uh, I think he has a chance to make some noise. All right, guys, time to make your picks. Joe, I'm going to ask you two questions. Number one, are we going to see the same final from last year? And number two, will we see the same result? I think we'll see the same final, and I think Dobzanski might win by a little more this time. James, same question. Will we see the same final as last year and the same result? Uh, no, we will not see the same final because I think Mike Markulik will be in the final against uh, Brian Dobzanski. But I do think we'll see the same champion. Brian Dobzanski wins his second career title. And there you guys have it, breaking down 220 pounds. Uh, keep your eyes on NJ.com. We are previewing every single weight class in Atlantic City here on Weighing In.